Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very nifty tool called as a JSON Repair. As the name tells us, it is a simple Python module to repair invalid JSON which is commonly used to parse the output of large language models. If you have been following my channel, you might know that I often ask these LLMs to either generate a JavaScript object notation or repair a JSON string. And many of these LLMs often fail to do simple tasks when it comes to JSON. The hosted models like OpenAI's models or Anthropic models perform quite well, but still at times they fail. So if in your AI pipeline, you want to ensure that your JSON string is valid and well formed, then this might uh, this tool might be of help and in this video we are going to install it locally and then we are going to see how it works with a lot of use cases when it comes to JSON. If you don't know what JSON is, JSON stands for JavaScript Object, Object Notation. It is a lightweight text-based data interchange format. It was invented in 2001 by Douglas Crockford who is an American computer programmer, Crockford created JSON as a simple, easy to read alternative to XML, which is extensible markup language for exchanging data between web servers, applications, and programming languages. If you have ever dealt with XML, then you can appreciate the utility and ease of JSON. Okay, so now you know what JSON is. Let's try to get it installed and see how it works. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech, uh, open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am going to use this Ubuntu system here. Let me quickly create a virtual environment so that whatever we install and use will repair, will remain in that confined space. And now let's install that JSON repair. The command is simple pip install JSON repair. I will also be using it with Olama later in the video. So I'm also installing that Python module. So let's wait for both of them to get installed. And as you can see, it is fairly quick and easy. Let me go to my code directory and I will show you this thing in action let me open it in my vs code and there you go so this is how easy it is to use it for example um, in this code we are simply importing that json repair and then we are giving it this json invalid json string with some of the errors which i have introduced on purpose this is not well formed and then i am repairing it by simply using this repair underscore json function on this json and then printing the good one out so let me quickly run it i'm just going to go here clear my screen and then i'm just going to check out what is the name of this file invalid.py so let me run this and there you go it has corrected it because if you remember this is a key and there is no value of city in our original one as you can see here so it has fixed it and we can see that now we have the well-formed json string in our hands okay next up let me show you maybe a repair one so again um, it's the same thing but here you see that we are loading it and parsing the json string and this is what i really really like about this one so let me run the repair one and you can completely remove the json load function with it you see and yes you're right we still haven't used any uh, sort of llm as of yet and you see the well formation means that it is now using single quotes let me show you again there you go the repair one how good that looks okay so repair is done let me also show you this replace one now as i mentioned earlier you can simply um, you know replace this json load function completely so this first one passes it through json load but here 
not only we are repairing the json we are loading it at the same time so you can completely remove this in your code uh, so not only you can load it in one go but also to repair or fix it so let me run this thing quickly i'll just say clear python repel.py and there you go so this same thing but this one is more visible more pythonic i would say because it is doing multiple things in one line in one easy go more readability and more compact and concise code okay so that is done but as you can imagine we haven't used any uh, model yet so just bear with me one final example without the model is this where as you can see this uh, json is quite broken 830 there is no colon here and then there is no value of the city let's run this to see if it is able to fix it now in some it is not a perfect library by the way in some cases it would simply fail and when it fails it just gives you an empty string anyway so you see here it is able to fix that how good is it, it has put the comma and it has fixed it quite properly and now in the final example without llm let me give it very complex and badly broken json you see it is a big json with lot of errors for example there are no double quotes there are some commas missing some brackets are missing so i just want to test how it goes and then i just put everything in this rep repair json function and then i'm calling it from the main function very simple uh, code but it is using repair json on this string so let me go here and then run this and you see how quick that is now here uh, i can immediately see there are some error you see it was not able to fix this it was not able to fix this so this is what i found sometime it just gave us some of the errors it has fixed some of the things no doubt about that but it has also made its mistakes so it's not perfect so don't blindly trust anything anyway so let me clear the screen here uh okay so let's clear the screen now i want to show you how you can use with llms for use cases so i am going to use it with olama if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest tool to run large login models locally i already have covered olama a lot on my channel just go there search with olama and you will find heaps of videos around it very simple to install for olama i already have olama installed and i have this deepseek and llama 3.2 running and i'm going to use maybe deepseek model to show you how you can for example generate a string from a model from llm and then you can fix it through this library for that i have already installed pip install olama as i showed you earlier we're importing that and then from there we are getting the response back from this deep seek and i am asking it to generate a broken json string just return json string and nothing else i am saving it here and then i am printing the good json maybe i'll also ask it to print me the bad json okay so that is good first we will print bad and then we will print the fixed one i believe i also need to import this json repair so i'm just going to go here and maybe i just also import this json this might not be needed but let's do it for the completion okay so it is accessing that deep sea carbon locally which is running on my system so let me, i have saved it let me go here and then i'm going to run this olama.py i think i should rename it but anyway let's run it you see i was saying that i need to rename it because the package is also named olama and file name is olama.py so i'm just going to rename it i'll just say this one just a random name and now run, let me run it and there you go so just um, in the spirit of transparency of our channel so let's see i think don't think so this is a good choice for a model because deep seek is a reasoning model so it is doing reasoning and reasoning and reasoning and towards the end it has generated the json 
but if you so this is a json which it has generated so json repair is has, was able to fix it but because of all the reasoning it got really confused as because json was mixed with the reasoning response so maybe the better option could be any other model which produces a json uh, and follows uh, it has follows instruction but as we know that it also gives us the thinking we can do some substring and other magic uh, in, on top of it in our code to get the json value but i think it would be hard so deep seek is probably not the good choice for this so let's try it out with llama 3.2 because as you remember i already have llama 3.2 also running in my o llama so let's try it out okay now let's run this one with llama 3.2 and there you go so you see the first one is a bad one and you can see that between the zip and phone properties it has a, a missing comma and now we have uh, here and then it this one has fixed it really good stuff okay so llama 3.2 seems like a better choice for this one but the idea here is that you can simply put this thing in front of your LLM pipeline before you get the final JSON to make sure it is well formed. I will drop the link to it in video description. Let me know what do you think about it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.